What He Doesn't Know, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Koru on Pixiv. You can find a link to Koru's Pixiv in the description box. Please enjoy. Marinette Dupang Chang as Ladybug, 18 months post-Hawk Moth. Well, that's enough, right. Cat Noir yawned, rubbing his eyes to stay awake. Peaceful as always, Ladybug agreed. Wanna detransform and get breakfast or something? Ladybug smiled, mostly to herself, and nodded. Sure. They'd continued their patrols, despite a lack of hawk moth sightings over the past year and a half. Cat insisted it was because danger could come from anywhere, but Ladybug knew he wasn't ready to give up his role as a Parisian superhero just yet, and she helped him keep up the charade. Besides, it was her fault there wasn't a hawk moth anymore. But he doesn't need to know that. What are we feeling? Cat asked. He offered his hand after scooching off the cold brick steps they people watched from. Why ask when we both know what you want? My dad's already up at this time. Cat grinned. I love carbs. Come on, we can detransform at the bakery. Dibs on a tart. Half an hour later, Marinette and Adrian sat on her patio above the Dupang Chang Bakery. Their cheeks were pink with cold, and their drinks steamed the space between them. I don't know why I'm surprised, Marinette said. She kept her feet propped up on the coffee table as Adrian enjoyed a fresh raspberry tart. I'm the one who bought the raspberries, mind you. Adrian mumbled between bites. Some things never change, do they, kitty? He laughed and wiped jam off his chin. I wouldn't mind things staying like this. Have you heard anything from Nino? He's still living his best life as a starving artist in New York. Still denying that he left to chase after his ex? He shook his head. Neither he nor Alia have given a reason why they broke up. Marinette couldn't bring herself to tell him what he didn't need to know. It's a shame they didn't work out. Yeah. Adrian tapped the side of his mug with his fingernails. It really is. How's your work study going? Is that what we're calling it? You're learning on the job, aren't you? He laughed and adjusted his beanie, her hand-knit and cat-ear-adorned Christmas present to him this last year. I'm more of a figurehead at this point. They dealt you a hard hand. I still don't get it. His fingers drummed louder on his mug. Why would father just up and leave everything to go to bed? I wonder. Marinette shrugged. He didn't have to know it was her doing. Being the guardian meant making hard decisions, and she kept this one to herself. Ladybug stole the butterfly miraculous, and, when she couldn't remove Gabriel Agrest from Paris by legal means, took it upon herself to use the contacts and resources she made on the side to relocate her nemesis to a place where he couldn't do any more damage. She'd rather see Adrian confused at his father's abrupt departure than watch him fall apart at the underbelly of his family's legacy. What he doesn't know is her burden to bear. I hope this peace stays, he said, catching her eye. No more Hawkmoth? No, I, I, I mean, yes, Adrian set down his mug. I mean, what we have between us. This... Uh, this is nice. If only he knew how much more she wanted than this moment. Yeah, it's nice like this, isn't it? It's something I'd like to share with a girl I like, 
you know? There it was again. That little jab to her heart. She knew he had a crush, but didn't know who the object of his affection was. A girl at the company? Former classmate? An internet contact turned discord calls in the late hours of the night? If only she knew. It was better not to know. I suppose. She leaned forward. But then it wouldn't be ours, right? Right. Yeah. They finished their breakfast in silence, and Adrian took the dishes downstairs as she tidied up their seating arrangement. This is fine. Things could stay like this. She could keep holding the truth from him, and he could move on with his life with whomever he chooses. It was a mere miracle they'd stayed together this long post-hoc moth anyway. Right? Marinette? Adrian popped his head through the door, a question on his face. Had she taken too long? Oh, I'm coming, she said, fixing a smile for him. Oh, no, no rush. I just, um, I, 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 I have tickets to a show tomorrow night. Wanna go? Oh, um, sh sure. Great. <laughs> it's a date, he grinned. A date? Yeah, a date. We'll go on a date together. A uh, plus one and, and all that. Right. A date. If only he knew how much she wanted a real date with him. Sure, I'll date you. She tried her best to wink, and he laughed. Great. Love that. Oh, if only he knew. But he doesn't know. And that's fine. They'd keep on keeping on like this, with what he didn't know and what she didn't tell him. It's fine. They were fine. But there were things Marinette didn't know as well. Marinette didn't know this was the third time Adrian asked her on a date, and she said yes. Marinette didn't know her long-standing crush was mutual. And Marinette didn't know. Adrian thought she knew he was serious about asking her on these dates instead of being a convenient placeholder. But she would know soon enough. Thank you so much for listening. That was the Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, What He Doesn't Know. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Mira. I write and I narrate Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction in an audiobook format. Whether you like he hearing someone read to you as you read along, whether you're cleaning your room, driving your car, I don't know. You do you, boo. Uh, if you like this, give it a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you aren't sure what to comment, put Adrian's secret and check out more videos on this channel for more fanfiction and Miraculous Ladybug content content. There we go. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!